Welcome to Eagles Healing Hope Broadcast. This is your Badger Healing Evangelist, Felicia Claiborne. You can like our Facebook page. It's entitled Eagles Healing Hope Broadcast and Healing Wings International Ministry. You can join our groups on Facebook. This is brought to you by the partners and prayer warriors and supporters of Healing Wings International Ministry. We will talk about Elizabeth. Let's pray. God, you are wonderful, you are kind, you are sweet, and you are awesome. You are the King of Kings, the Lord of Lords. We honor you and give you praise. We ask, Lord, that you will open up our ears to hear and our spirit to receive the word of God, release salvation, healing, deliverance, signs, wonders, miracles on the day, God. We ask you just to move and release, O oh God, your fresh revelation and confirmation of your word and, and remove all distraction in Jesus' name. Amen. Elizabeth. Elizabeth in the Bible was the wife of the priest named Zechariah. She was also a cousin of Mary, the mother of Jesus. Elizabeth and Zechariah are called righteous and blameless people who walked in the commandments of the Lord. Elizabeth was barren. She was unable to have children. When Elizabeth is first mentioned in the Bible, she is an old woman or advanced in years. You can find that in Luke chapter 1. Uh, this could mean anything from the late middle age to old age. In any cases, she was past childbearing age. When Zechariah was in the temple offering incense to the Lord, the angel Gabriel appeared to him, saying that, he and Elizabeth would soon be parents. They were to name the baby John. This baby will grow up to be great before the Lord and bring joy and gladness to them, as well as many other people. Zach Zachariah was doubtful because of his wife's age and the fact he was old, uh, himself old. So Zachariah, uh, so Zachariah, excuse me. So Gabriel, the same angel who appeared later to Mary, told Zachariah that he would be unable to speak until the prophecy was fulfilled in the birth of John. Zachariah, uh, Zachariah forgive me, help me to be focused, Jesus. Elizabeth, when finding herself pregnant, kept herself in seclusion for five months. Six months after. Elizabeth could see Mary also became pregnant and she went to visit Elizabeth because Gabriel had told her of Elizabeth's pregnancy. It is a sign of God's love and care that he placed these women in the same family. He, he could just as easily make them strangers to one another. But making them relatives, he gave them mutual comfort and encouragement, especially for Mary. The experience of being pregnant outside of wedlock must be, have been frightening and shocking. But God provided Elizabeth a, as a comforting presence, a trusted and known relation, an older woman who was going through the same miraculous event. As soon as Mary arrived at Elizabeth's home and Elizabeth heard Mary's greeting, the baby leaped in her womb and Elizabeth was filled with the Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit told Elizabeth, uh, told Elizabeth of Mary's condition before Mary could even say a word. Eight days after Elizabeth's child was born, several neighbors and relatives were there of the, for the set ceremony of, of circumcision. It was during that uh, this time that children were officially given names and Elizabeth declared her baby's name John. Zachariah was unable to speak. The neighbors questioned Elizabeth about the name. None of her relatives had been named John. S certainly they should name him Zachariah. But Zachariah procured a tablet and wrote on the name the name of John. In this he showed his faith in the angel's prophecy. And with that 
Zachariah was able to speak again. Elizabeth's son grew up to be John the Baptist, who ministered before the Lord in the spirit and power of Elijah, and was the prophet who prepared the way of the Lord, fulfilling Malachi's prophecy. If you want the Lord as your personal Savior, I want you to pray this prayer really mean and say, Dear Lord Jesus, I come to you as a sinner. I ask you to wash and cover my sins in the blood of Jesus. I believe that Jesus died, buried, rose, sat at the right hand of the Father, and coming back for me again. I confess the Lord Jesus as Savior, and I believe that I, I confess that I am saved. Thank you, Lord, for saving my soul. Teach me to read the Bible. Send me to a good church so I can work in your vineyard. Fill me with the Holy Spirit so I can be a witness in the earth and have power over the devil. In Jesus' name, amen. That's it, my friend. Rejoice. Welcome to the family of God. Your name is written in the Lamb's Book of Life and erased off the corners of hell. Get your Bible start reading the Book of Psalms of Proverbs, which is in the Old Testament. How you get to it? I'm glad you asked. You go to the table of contents, look up the word Psalms, go to the designated pager, and start reading. Same thing with Proverbs. Go to the front of your Bible, to the table of contents, and look up the, the word Proverbs. Go to the designated page area and start reading. Then, by that, God will help you read along the way and give you revelation. Thank you for watching the Eagles Healing Hope broadcast. We pray that you have been blessed and encouraged. If you have any prayer requests or praise reports, you can email us at healingwingsintlministry at gmail.com. You can inbox us on Facebook at Eagles Healing Hope broadcast or Healing Wings International Ministry pages. You can sow your seed by cash app at dollar sign Felicia Claiborne or you can mail a check or money order make it payable to Healing Wings International Ministry. You can also uh, go to our new cash app uh, tag which is cat, uh, dollar sign Blondie Badger B-L-O-N-D-I-E B-A-D-G-E-R Inbox us on Eagles Healing Hope Broadcast or Healing Weeds International Ministries pages, pages to get the address to mail your seat. You can also email us at Eagles, uh, Eagles Healing Weeds INTL Ministry at gmail.com. Your offerings will go to further the kingdom of God. I want you to do this very thing. I want you to subscribe to the Healing Weeds International Ministry YouTube channel. In there, we have a whole bunch of episodes that we have done that will bless your soul on various topics uh, that is in the Christian spectrum and of the Bible. You can also um, go, you can do this on your computer, laptop, phone, and TV, and you could just be blessed by all of the things that we talk about. And also click the click the subscribe button and also click the bell and you'll know when we, you'll be notified when we have a new episode. This was brought to you by the Partners, Prayer Warriors, and Supporters of Healing Wings International Ministry. Keep hope alive. And remember, there is hope. Be blessed.